beautiful beets from the chef's garden. I've got a really simple one for you guys right here. So we're gonna do a beet hummus with these beautiful beets from the chef's garden. Thank you, Farmer Lee, so much. And I'm gonna be using this Chipotle, raspberry Chipotle rub. I should probably change in my apron real quick. Okay, so what we're gonna do here is we're going to take the beets and we're gonna braise them in the oven at 375 for about two hours. So we're gonna toss them into a brazier of some sort, hotel pan, pot, whatever you got with a lid. Toss that in there. We're gonna add in water to cover, then followed by thyme, whole garlic cloves, good amount of salt, good amount of pepper, and then we'll just close that up. We'll toss that in the oven until they're soft all the way through. Okay, now I've got some chickpeas here. I went ahead and soaked them the night before, and as you can see, they pretty much doubled in size. So you just wanna make sure that it's in a big enough container to handle double the size. So you just wanna put it in a container, fill it up with like double the amount of water to cover, and then they should expand just like that. Now they're ready to be cooked. Now once you've got your chickpeas out of the fridge, go ahead and strain them, rinse them, and then toss them into a pot. Fill that up with water, and we're gonna go ahead and simmer them with some salted water for about 20 minutes or so until they're nice and tender. Okay, now since hummus usually gets garlic, what I, what I like to do is uh, add the garlic into a pan and use the oil that I'm gonna use for my hummus. So then I, I have like a really nice flavorful oil here. So I'm just gonna do garlic with the amount of olive oil I'm using for my hummus here. I'm just gonna go ahead and bring that up to a little simmer and then turn it off, let it steep, and then we'll use this. Okay, so once these beets come out of the braise, you know they're done when a knife can go clean in and out with no pressure. Now you wanna go ahead and let these cool off just a little bit, not all the way. We're gonna take a towel just like this, a kitchen towel works fine. Go ahead and rub off the skin, it comes off clean. If it's done, the skin will come off clean. Okay, beet hummus, step one. Add your beets into the blender, followed by the chickpeas. Then we've got that cup of garlic oil from earlier. That's gonna go in. Good amount of salt. We're gonna do some of this raspberry chipotle. This is gonna add a nice flavor, a nice sweet heat to it. Okay, once she's blended up nice and smooth, just like that, we can go ahead and add lemon juice and salt to taste. Just go ahead and adjust it to your liking. I like mine really lemony, so I'm gonna add a whole lemon. Mmm. All right, this is dank, okay, we're good. And there you have it, my friends, beet hummus. Now, this stuff's really good. You can keep this in the fridge in a container like this for like a week or so. And yeah, have it with whatever you like. I mean, you can do it with chips or pita bread, non bread. Comment down below if you want a video on that, non bread. Um, or maybe you can even make a nice little beet dish like I did here. I thought it'd be fun to pair beets with a beet hummus. That'd be kind of cool. Thank you so much for watching the video. Go ahead and check out Raspberry Chipotle down below, link down below, and Farmer Lee's beautiful produce. Get yourself some beets like this, and I will see you in the next one. Go ahead and get a nice bite in here. Some flaky salt.